Hello, everybody. This is RJ. Coming at you with your buzz report. Let's get with it. Look here. I want to talk about a um, few things that I've seen in the news, past stories. We've got to talk about what happened up there in New York. And how the, the cop was pulling on this, trying to pull this one-year-old out the mother's arms. Now, I'm going to tell you something. They should have been fired. The mother shouldn't have been. Never went to jail. I don't really even care if she did have a warrant. That's what they said. They said she has a warrant. You know, it's always... They are never, they are never at fault. So, presumably, we're going to just say she has a warrant. You know how that goes. But... Don't care if she had a warrant or not. You still should have been fired. Nobody in their right mind, unless you just retarded, would sit up there and be snatching on a one-year-old. You know, think about it. A one-year-old baby. You pulling on it like it's some rag doll. You know. And using when two people... T- tugging on a rag doll, the rag doll don't win. But thankfully, the baby did not get injured. But I want y'all to think about something. You know how when you you got your dog and things like that, you want to come on out there and go play with Fido and you get your towel or a shirt or something like that and you and Fido and sitting up there playing tug of war. And you know, see how that dog be giving it all. He just be tugging. That is exactly what that remind me of. And I know a lot of folks, I'm not the only one, when that cop was putting on that baby. Do you know? And I know, everybody know, something got to give. An arm could have came out of socket. Hell, the way that woman was pulling, yes. And that was another thing that was surprising. It was a woman that was putting, so... I hope you never have kids because you already have shown that you have no sympathy for a child. So you should have your tubes tied. But let's get back to what we were saying. You know, arm could have came out of socket. You could have pulled the arm out. The way she was putting the arm could have just came completely off the body. I don't know what the fuck was wrong with this woman. And for them other cops to sit there and think that, that was okay, you know, you got all these paid professionals, professionals sitting here watching your coworker snatching on this one yo, while the rest of y'all are trying to hold down the mama. Did that make sense? I mean, really, all, all of them should be fired. Neither, neither one of them should be on the force. You know, yeah, they've been in my office next day. Uh, uh, I want y'all to turn in your badge and your service weapon. And uh, I recommend that y'all don't get hired in nowhere else. By nobody. You can't even go to the next state and get hired. And y'all going to end up killing somebody. That's how you get them cop killers off your force. You go ahead and get rid of them now. When they do something stupid like this. Okay. But the situation, you know, should have never even reached that point. Because I'm sitting up here thinking, you know, she was there trying to get help uh, uh, for the baby. Like, you know, uh, daycare, a daycare voucher. And, you know, usually when you go to the Department of Human Services and, they, and things like that, they're usually packed. There's been times I've, I, I went myself, you know, and uh, I had since then stand up on the wall. You know, because I see a lady there, she got kids, I give up my seat. Yeah. Um, so usually they are packed. I, I don't know why they don't never get enough seat, seating in those places. But what kind of day was that clerk having 
that you seen this woman standing up. She been standing up an hour, got a one year old in the arm, and and now she said, I just can't stand no more. I need this baby. I'm tussling with this baby. This baby wearing me out. Y'all know how little babies do. And, and she just wearing me. The baby just wearing me. I got to sit down. Oh, uh, ma'am, you can't sit on the floor. And so lady, lady replied, I'm just too tired to stand. And so I'm, I'm, I'm just calling the police. I'd like to see who this clerk was. Because for her to call the police, y'all know where I'm fixing to go. She called the police on a black woman with a child sitting on the floor. I wonder what this clerk looked like. Hmm? How come I ain't seen the person face to call the police? You know, how did the police get involved? Exactly what I was saying. You know, now you cops, y'all come up here, and you know what you're up there for. So the probably I would have been going upstairs or wherever the place is or into that room with a chair. Because I'd have been like, look, I don't, I don't even want to hunt, 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 hunt. They just called us about you sitting on the floor. Now I'm pretty sure they got a bunch of people around here that bought you a chair. Here you go. And that would have made the news. That's how you make that. That's how you want a police officer to make the news, doing something like that. Not the way that these imbeciles made the news. You know, you can't be uh, America's finest, which I always hear about in New York. You know, New York's finest. You can't be that doing what I have sat here and watched. But if you had a bought a chair and gave to her, that is how you serve the people. Serve and protect. This is RJ with your bullet support. Peace out.